Hello and welcome back to revisiting the Complete Control Mark II, especially the S-Series. This is such a nice device, but from the beginning I felt it's really sad that you cannot edit any other devices than the Complete Control plugin. And I thought a long time about it and now with the Driven by Moss version 7.03 there is finally a solution for that. If you look at the device you see I loaded up some channels here and I came up now with a mode for devices. I thought maybe I could change the normal mix mode also for parameters because parameters look very identical. You have a value and you have a name for them and the written out value. So that's what I did. What I had to do, I had to sacrifice one button to switch modes and I select the clear button because currently it has only a more or less random function depending on the focus in Bitwig so I sacrifice the clear button to toggle mode. So you need to go into the mixer mode here. What's, that's where we're already in so you see your tracks and devices and if you then press the clear button you can toggle to the devices. So the currently selected device is displayed with its parameters and you see on top for each parameter you see the name of the device, the name of the page and finally the name of the parameter. And and you can change here with the knob below, you can change its value. And as you see, I put the value both here on the parameter setting and here on the volume setting. So it's identical, which means also if you change into panorama editing mode with a shift and encoder up, it also changes the same display and changes the parameter as well. And you can also navigate between the pages. So you see here the encoder, you see also the encoder displays you if you can go right or left so going here to the right you get to the next page here of the policy and, and to the next page and so on you can also switch devices so i loaded on this channel here three devices a policy and a compressor and a delay and here with a encoder again going up and down you can go here down you switch to the compressor to the delay and back again. Same is here with the left right button, change the device. What you also notice here on the display, the view also displays the value, but it does not only display the fader value, it's also the modified value, which means if I, for example, here in a polysynth, I load up here, let's put in there an LFO as a straightforward example, and why not modulate here the sub oscillator and if you now look here, I need to select the second here page where this subparameter is and you will see the LFO is now modulating the value and you see that also in the display. So if I move that up, it will circulate here around the value. And this is also, I think, a nice application of the VU meter. Okay, also pressing clear again, so you can leave the mode, so you can always toggle between the modes. Something to be aware of is the buttons above the display, they still control the track. So pressing those will still switch here to the depending track, which allows you still also yeah, to switch to the tracks. And also the mute and the solo act the same, but this has a little bit of a weird effect. For example, if you mute the first track, it uh, also the parameter will be turned off so this is something I cannot change sadly but that's how it is so uh, if you are aware of that you can cope I guess nevertheless it means you can still change a parameter it's just uh, not that parameter let's try with another one with that one you can still change a parameter it's just displayed in gray but I think that's something that we can live with yeah I think that's about it what is uh, new in that version and I hope you like it and make some funky music Thank you.